If you're looking for always free cloud infrastructure, stay tuned with me up to end of this video. Google Trends for different cloud services, AWS in comparison to Azure. In terms of the Google search, you can see that almost the trend is same. Google Cloud Platform, so limited search is there or if I add Google Cloud, let me see if the keyword is like that. In Alibaba Cloud, and again, you can see the popularity is very limited here. And finally, I'll be adding Oracle Cloud. Now Canada, Azure is popular in United States, AWS is popular. And if I talk about Oracle, Oracle Cloud is here. <clears throat> Major difference between AWS, Azure, Google Cloud Platform, or Alibaba Cloud is that they are giving the free services for a limited time. AWS, it gives for 12 months. Azure also gives for 12 months. If I look for always free service, so you will get Oracle Cloud free tier service. So let me open the link. Okay, here is the Oracle free cloud infrastructure. Let me show you what services are always available with Oracle cloud infrastructure for free. First of all, the infrastructure services, we can have two AMD based virtual machines and one GB each memory is available in this particular VM. And at the same time, you can have a four ARM based Ampere A1 core processor with 24 GB RAM. So you can have one VM configured with this configuration, or you can have up to four VMs configured within the same available free service. Then you can have block volume storage, which you can use for the boot volume and you can use for the storage as well. Within this particular storage, you have to manage your VMs. Then you can have 10 GB of object storage, standard object storage, then infrequent 10 GB storage. And then for archiving also, you get 10 GB storage. You will get databases of your choice for of Oracle transaction processing, autonomous transaction processing, autonomous data warehousing, autonomous JSON database, or Apex cloud application development. So Apex application develop is a low code platform for the application development. If you want to know more about low code application development, click the link, which I have provided here in the description below. Now we'll sign up for the Oracle cloud infrastructure. In the next step, I need to enter the details. So I'll be entering my details here. Now I'm waiting for my account to be created. My account is ready now. So I'll be now signing into my account. You can see here, my free billing is $400 and I had chosen Dubai as my region. It is because of the latency. So you have to choose the nearest location to your location. Okay, as the cloud platform is ready right now, I'll, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe it now so that you get the updates regularly. Simply click on hamburger icon, click on compute instances. So I'll create an instance here. Image and shape. Image and shape is nothing but your operating system and the configuration of your VM. So if I click on edit by default, the image being used is Oracle Linux 8. I can choose this and I can choose any of the flavors of Linux, which are available in Ubuntu, CentOS, Oracle Autonomous, Oracle Linux, or Oracle Linux Cloud Developer. So I'll be using Oracle Linux, uh, Windows Server 2019 Standard Edition. You can choose it, but then it will be uh, paid. So I'll be using Oracle uh, Linux. Its version is 8. And this is the latest distribution which is available right now. I'll be choosing this by default. It is choosing already this. And then as we know that we have two AMD based uh, uh, VMs available with one core CPU and one GB RAM. Uh, you can choose this. You can, if, if we want to go and change the settings, you can choose AMD from here or Ampere, which is also available for free with up to 24 GB or with up to 8 CPUs. So I can choose this here. If I choose here, it is giving me one uh, OCPU. So up to four OCPUs you can have for free with 24 GB maximum of RAM. So you can use these resources within uh, with four v VMs maximum, or you can use one complete VM with the maximum configuration. So it depends upon your requirement or what you want to have. 
So I'll be going with AMD based OCPU, which is uh, standard right now. Now, next thing is networking. So I'll be choosing default virtual cloud network by Oracle. And if I, if I will show you that here also, if you go here networking, so you have the virtual cloud networks here. So default network is created automatically here and it has its own routing table defined. If you go here, click inside, you can see the subnets here within the subnet. Then you can have your security list, which is nothing but your firewall. And in, if you go inside here, you can see here by default on all your services, uh, 22 port is enabled which is SSH port. You can make the changes here, but right now it's not the point of discussion here. Our concern is to start using VM. So we'll be going to compute services here, instances. So you have to download the private key here. I'll give a friendly name to this. I'll now my keys are saved here. Now, before creating it, I'll just show you that you can uh, specify the boot size volume also here. But the thing here is that default boot volume is 46.6 GB. I'll be using 50 GB or I'll leave it as default. You can see here default will be 46.6 GB. So create the VM. The moment you create the VM, it will start provisioning it. If you see this now, my VM is ready and it is running right now. So if you see here, the VM is running, so I don't need to start, stop or anything. It is running already. So I, I will be accessing SSH using a putty. So here is my server. I will give a server IP here and I'll save its name Syncbricks tutorial one and I'll save it here. But before saving it, before uh, continuing it further, I'll click on SSH and authentication and I load the key here this is my private key but i'll show you something here the moment i try to load it using this it will give me an error saying that the private key is an old pm format so we need to change the private key we need to recreate this private key using the acceptable key on ssh i'll again open uh, putty but now i'll be opening putty uh, key generation software so this is for the key generator file, load the private key. I'll be lo uh, loading existing private key. This is my private key. It has been successfully loaded. Don't make any changes. Don't generate, don't do anything. Just save the private key again. It will save the private key. Are you sure you want to save this key without any passphrase? Yes. This time I'll be going to SSH authentication and choose that which has been generated and then go to your connection and data and type this uh, default login which is OPC you can see here depending upon what type of services you want to have on your VM server I'll be installing web server on top of it I'll be installing AA panel specially so that I can manage my all websites so let us continue the video to see how the A panel can be installed on this. For more insights, watch the related video. Before you go, click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel.